today I want to talk to you about drawing black fur and I think it'll be helpful if I show you my method for drawing it. Now I'll show you today by drawing this black cat but it very much applies to all kinds of black fur. Now as with all drawings I think the most important part of learning how to draw black fur is by learning how to see. So most of my drawings that I do are from reference photos and the black cat that I'm drawing today is no different. So let's take a minute to have a look at this reference photo together and see what's really here. Now in actuality I would say that the vast majority of this cat's fur isn't actually black. If you look around this area for example because it's in a highlight it's much more of a kind of mid grey. There are some areas that are black or very close to black but they're much more minimal and particularly noticing the patches around here and around here. I can also see some black patches either side of the nose as well as a very large patch under here. I would say in actuality probably about half of the cat is more of the grey and half of it is more like a black. When you really look at these highlighted grey sections, I wouldn't say that they are completely grey. They have a lot of a blue tone to them. In some areas they are really quite blue, in some it's just more like a cool grey. Some of the areas where it is a brighter blue, you can particularly see around here for example. So these are some of the things that I want to bear in mind when I'm drawing these lighter areas is making sure I add in this blue as well as making sure that I add in the lighter areas. Now generally speaking whenever I draw any kind of fur I have three main steps that I follow. But before I start working my way through them if you would like to draw this cat with me it is available on my Patreon. I include a much more in-depth tutorial as well as the real-time footage. I also include all of the exact colours that I use as well as the reference photo and the sketch outlines. And I not only have tutorials using colour pencils but I also use graphite and pastel pencils. Check out the link in the description. Now as for the fur, the very first thing that I always like to do on all drawings is start off by putting down some base layers. I don't generally like working just on plain paper. So what I've done is found the very lightest colour that I can see in the reference photo, which here I would say is a very light cold grey. And what I'm wanting to do is just try and get some nice smooth even coverage on the whole of the cat. So anywhere where I'm wanting to be building up this spare texture. Now there's a few things that I'm doing here. First off, I want to be pressing very, very lightly. I want to make sure that I can build a lot more pencil up on top of this. And I'm also working in circular motions so that it ends up looking as smooth as it possibly can. I don't want to add any sort of texture at this point, certainly not adding any fair strokes or anything like that. I'm just wanting something nice and smooth to work with. And then from there, I want to gradually build up the base layers. So as I mentioned, some parts of the cat are particularly light patches, so there's particularly light patches of fur. There are also some very dark patches of fur. And what I'm wanting to do right now is just kind of mark those out. It's a good opportunity, I see it as a way for me to get my bearings. So I'm drawing here with a still reasonably light cold grey pencil. It is slightly darker than the previous pencil and I am literally just working my way around the cat mapping everything out. So if I see a light patch I am very lightly putting some of this colour. If I see a dark patch I'm not pressing hard I'm just going over the area a few more times to build up more of this colour. Because this is just a case of building up base layers I'm still pressing very lightly with the pencil. And then I'll be able to add loads more colours over the top of this. And it really is just a case of working my way around the cat and marking in those lights and darks. It does look pretty peculiar right now, but don't worry about that, it will all come together later on. Now I do find while building up these base layers, there are some parts where I need to block in some pretty big colours. So for example, on the cat's chest here, it's just a very dark chest. But that's okay, I can block that in. It is beginning to look a bit like a cat, although not massively realistic at the moment. But with just two colours, I have managed to get some sort of template that will make my life easier later on. And then what I do from here is work from those light colours towards some of the darker colours, still building up these base layers. So what I've got here is a slightly darker pencil. This is like a very, very dark grey. 
Not the black though, I don't want to use the black yet. And I'm once again using this to still work lightly in these circular motions and just go over any of these darker areas just to further help me mark everything out. I find that the more colors that I add in, the easier this becomes just because it gradually becomes easier to see what needs to go where. And once again, I need to block in some pretty large patches in some cases. Now, sometimes I find as I gradually build up these colors, some of the proportions on the cap, for example, look a little bit funny, but that's where working from the lighter colors towards the darker colors is helpful because it can always be tweaked a bit later with some darker colors. So now I've worked through some of the grays, I can begin building up base layers with some other colors. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I can see a lot of blues particularly within the cat's fur. And my rule is always if I see it, then I should draw it. Now notice that I am still going over this very lightly. It's not something that you would necessarily think would be in a cat's fur. And it might look a little bit peculiar at this point, but it is gonna make the black fur look a lot richer. Generally speaking, I find that if you put blue underneath black, it just helps the black pop so much better. So I can use a few different blues to build up a bit more richness within the cats. So I can add this slightly brighter blue to some of the lighter areas. And then I also want to add a much darker blue to some of the darker areas. I do think, as I say, it makes a massive difference having blues underneath the black. So even on these darker areas where I will later put black, they're gonna stand out a lot better for having this very deep blue underneath them. And the more of the blues that I build up within the cat, I find that it kind of looks less peculiar. It makes more sense the more that you do. So from here, once I've built up some really in-depth base layers and I'm no longer working on white paper, I want to start thinking about building up some of the texture. And what I want to do is work through a lot of the same colors that I previously have. So I'm starting off here with this mid gray. It's the gray that I used, the second color I used. And I'm working primarily over the lighter areas of the fur. So working in these flicking motions to try and build up this texture. So all I'm doing is very lightly brushing my pencil against the paper and that creates these little flicks. Now there's a few particularly important things I'm doing here. First off, I want to make sure that I am still pressing very lightly. If I press heavily, I'll end up with some really thick marks and that's not what I'm going for. I also, to help make these marks as thin as possible, want to make sure that my pencil is nice and sharp. So I am frequently sharpening my pencil throughout the process here. I also want to be particularly looking at the direction of the fur. So looking at my reference photo and trying to follow the same directions. It doesn't all necessarily work outwards from the nose. So for example, this area on the top of the head is almost going straight up. Whereas underneath the cat's eye here, it's going towards the right hand side but it has got quite a prominent kind of bend in it so i want to be adding that in the final thing that i'm particularly thinking about is the length of the fur now actually on this cat a lot of the fur is a reasonably similar length i would say except for the patch of fur just above the cat's nose which is extremely short fur so for that, I need to make some much shorter flicks with the pencil. And I basically just want to work my way over the whole of the cat's face on any of the lighter areas, particularly for this color, building up that texture. And then what I can do from here is once again, work my way through these colors. So I want to add in flicking motions now with that much darker gray going over the top of what I've done here. And this is made much easier once I've done that first lighter color because I want to be making flicks in the same fair direction. And I can then add flicks with the pencil now with the black. So once again, making these small flicks, but I'm particularly focusing with the black on some of the darker areas. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna use the black on the lighter areas, but I do want to use it much more sparingly and go over the darker areas more with the black pencil. And quite quickly, this does build up some sort of fur texture. Although I must say that at this point of the process, I do find that it looks very scratchy, but don't worry about that. We can sort that out a little bit later on. 
but quite quickly just through building up those base layers and building up some sort of fur texture it is beginning to look like a black cat but there is quite a lot more tweaking that needs to be done from this point. So once I've gone over all of the cat's fur and I'm happy with this cat's fur texture, I want to start thinking about removing some of the scratchiness. Cats generally have very nice soft fur and I don't feel like this is a reflection of that right now. So what I'm going to do is look at my drawing, compare it to the reference photo, and I really want to be thinking about which color I think is missing. Not only that, but also think about which color I think will help soften everything. So the first thing that's jumping out at me with this drawing is some of the lighter patches of fur look like they're a little bit too warm they look like they could stand to be a much cooler color so i can go back to this quite light blue and just smooth everything out with this color now up until now i've always been pressing very lightly but at this point i would say that i'm using a more like a medium pressure but i am still working in these circular shapes I'm not worrying about adding any texture. Even going over the top of the fur and all of the marks that I've made, it's not losing that texture that we've already built up. So just pressing reasonably firmly and going over this fur and it is making a massive difference already to how soft the cat looks. So from here, I want to once again think about which color I think is missing. So I want to add in a slightly brighter blue just to brighten up a few areas of the cat. But once again, I'm working in these circular motions and I would say that I'm using a medium pressure again. I can then start thinking about maybe adding some of a mid gray and shading that in and blending everything, smoothing everything out on some of the more mid-tone areas or using a darker gray and once again, blending and smoothing out some of the more mid to dark areas. Now at this point, I think on the most part, it does look like a black cat, although maybe some areas of it look a little bit muted now, even though I did put the black down when I was adding in the fur texture, I was pressing very lightly so it wouldn't look very deep black. It would look more like a lighter gray. And I built a lot of colors up over the top of it, which is also going to mute the black. So what I want to do is go back to the black pencil and once again, go over all of these darker areas using circular motions. Now it is important here that I'm looking at the reference photo and really seeing where these darker black patches need to be. If I build up the black over some of the areas that need to be a lighter gray, it'll just end up my cat won't look like it has a huge amount of contrast to it. It'll look a bit boring. But I can work over all of these darker areas of the cat's fur, building up some of the contrast and really building up that black. And then once I'm happy with how smooth the fur is looking, the last thing I always do is add in any final details. And that's it. That's how I go about drawing black fur. Now, as I say, I do always draw fur in the same way. I have covered all of the three steps that I use to draw fur, but if you'd like me to go through it in a bit more detail, check out the video that I have here. Don't forget, if you would like to draw this black cat with me, it is available on my Patreon. Happy drawing, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.